So when I see what's happening and has happened on a regular basis to Boogie2988, it becomes more and more glaringly clear that one of the primary issues with cancel culture on YouTube is that people have a major problem distinguishing the difference between someone being a flawed person and being a bad person. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And before I get started, for those of you who don't know, I have a podcast called A Different Lens and I just put up an episode yesterday that's called In Defense of YouTube Drama Channels and Commentary Channels. And I think it's really relevant to this video. So I will link that down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. All right, so yeah, I will be talking about Boogie2988, what's been going on in the community. I'm going to be talking about some mental health subjects as well. So real quick disclaimer. First one is I do not personally know Boogie. Second one is I am not a licensed therapist or a psychologist my qualifications, I am a certified life coach. I am almost done with my certified alcohol and drug counselor licensing. I worked in a drug and alcohol treatment center for a little over three years. We were a dual diagnosis facility. So we worked with people with addictions as well as mental illnesses. So I have literally worked with thousands, all right? That's not an exaggeration. Thousands of people who are adult survivors of childhood abuse. And that's what we're gonna be talking to about today when it comes to Boogie2988, all right? Last thing is, I am also the author of a new book called Canceled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. The ebook is available for free at my website. It'll be linked down below until the end of the month. If you wanna check that out and get a little bit behind the curtain look at what some YouTubers go through, what the community is like, and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, check that out. So anyways, long story short, and there'll be some links down below if you wanna get the full in-depth view of what's going on, because there's way too much going on for me to cover in one video. But anyways, Boogie2988, he's a very large creator on this platform. He has uh, over four, I think over four and a half million subscribers. He blew up with uh, his alternate ego, Francis, uh, making those videos. I think that's how I was honestly first introduced to him as well, um, but yeah. There are a lot of people out there who are trying to make the case that Boogie2988 is a bad person. And again, we're going to be talking about the difference between a bad person and a flawed person because I think we get those mixed up a little bit. So I've been working on how I'm going to do this video for a while, but a friend showed me this right here, which is the Reddit Boogie298 uh, mega thread. And look how long this is. All right, I just want you to pay attention to that. And then a new video came out from Christopher Tom. He's a great kid, I've actually talked to him before, so no shade uh, towards Christopher Tom. But anyways, he just put up a video that's about an hour long. He refers to a lot of things in that Reddit thread. But here's the thing, you guys. Like, I just want you to sit back and think about how much effort went into that Reddit thread, how much effort went into Christopher Tom's video. Like, when you see this, you would honestly think that these people are uncovering like the truth about what actually happened to Jeffrey Epstein. But all they're doing in reality is making the case that in their opinion, Boogie2988 is a bad person. I want you guys to think about that for a second. So as we move forward, if you don't learn anything else from this video, again, I want you to learn how to distinguish the difference between a flawed person and a bad person, all right? And I want you to honestly ask yourself if you think Boogie2988 is a flawed person or a bad person. So recently, Review Tech USA made an excellent video about Boogie and his situation, and he gives advice to Boogie. And Review Tech USA, he gives Boogie some great advice saying, yo, dude, just ignore it. People are going to hate you. You're never going to flip their opinion on you. And I absolutely agree. But here's the thing. I believe 
because of what Boogie 2988 has been through, that's a lot easier said than done. So I highly recommend that you guys check out this article from the mighty of people sharing their experience about what it's like to be a survivor of childhood abuse. So as I go through this, ask yourself, do any of these sound like Boogie? Indecisiveness. It feels like every choice I make is wrong, even if I choose the option I'm told to take. I become apologetic over everything. If someone doesn't text back, I'll believe they're upset with me and I'll apologize. If I ask for something and annoy them, I'll apologize. Everything becomes a situation where I feel like I'm to blame. I avoid saying anything that others might not agree with, which means I'm never being myself. Blaming myself for everything. I have to fight the urge to beat myself up constantly. I always feel like I'm doing everything wrong. It's very hard to convince me I am good at something. I'm very defensive, which can come across cold or nasty. I also portray quite a lot of negativity, which seems to be my barrier so I don't get hurt. And lastly, I find myself always explaining my every move. I explain why I bought something, why I did what I did, etc. I feel like people think I'm lying to them, so I owe them a detailed explanation. Also feeling as though if I say no to someone, they'll hate me. So even if I'm inconveniencing myself, I'll say yes. So again, going back to review tech, USA's advice for Bogey to just ignore it and quit apologizing and quit explaining himself. Like, I just want you guys to develop some empathy and realize that for survivors of childhood abuse, it's not that easy. Now, is this an excuse? Absolutely not, but it's a reason. And I really hope like more people would give Boogie some credit. Like, listen, listen very carefully. I have worked with so many people who struggle with addiction, who struggle with mental illness, who are survivors of abuse. And I have met so many people who basically tell the entire world, here's what happened to me, you have to deal with it, right? And I have never heard those words come out of Boogie's mouth. Boogie is putting effort in to try and be a better person. Now, if that's good enough for you or not, I don't know, but the reality is nobody can deny that he's remorseful. And I just, I don't know if it's like, maybe you haven't met, not you specifically, but people who are lacking this empathy towards Boogie haven't met people who are just like, oh, well, I'm an addict, so I just can't stop drinking or using. And by the way, I'm a recovering addict. For those of you who didn't know, I've been clean for seven years, but I've met so many people who are like, oh, well, I, uh, I'm i a PTSD survivor, so you just gotta deal with what I go through. Or, or I've met with people who have borderline personality disorder and say, I have angry outbursts, you need to deal with it, right? Boogie has never said any of those things. So again, while it's not an excuse for his flawed characteristics, it's a reason. And I do not think that makes Boogie 2988 a bad person. So from what Boogie tells us, it sounds like he's putting in quite a bit of work. He talks about working with a therapist. He talks about taking medications. So as somebody who is very passionate about mental health and education and awareness. I'm really on the fence about how Boogie conducts himself like on Twitter. So he is very, very open and honest. And on one hand, I look at that and it worries me because I know he has such a large audience and I wonder if he triggers anybody, you know what I mean? But on the other hand, I see him being so open and vulnerable as being inspirational and this kind of like hope for other people. I am not gonna lie to you at all, all right? Like I've been through some stuff, but I look at a man like Boogie and see him talk about what he went through, see about what he's currently going through, and I'm like, damn, dude. If this guy can wake up each day and put in the work, I can do it too. So that's where I'm kind of on the fence about it. So again, lastly, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychologist, I do not personally know Boogie2988. But if Boogie was a friend of mine, if like one of my best friends was Boogie or dealing with what Boogie's dealing with, I would try to convince him to go to an extended inpatient mental health treatment program, all right? And this is purely because 
Sometimes we just need to take a break. Sometimes we need to get away from everything. Friends, family, work, all right? And just 100% focus on ourselves. Like sometimes we're just so caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life that we don't even have a chance to really work on ourselves because we're still in it, right? Inpatient treatment, much like the um, drug and alcohol rehab center that I worked at, like it helps people get away from their environment and have more time to get this clarity of what to do transitioning back into life. So like I said, if Boogie was one of my friends, I would try to convince him to do some inpatient treatment. But yeah, uh, lastly, one more time, for those of you who didn't hear it in the back, we need to really start distinguishing the difference between a flawed person and a bad person, all right? So don't forget, check out the podcast that I posted yesterday in defense of drama channels on YouTube and commentary channels on YouTube, and also free versions of my book, Canceled Inside YouTube, Cancel Culture, is available until the end of the month. That is all linked down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a thank you to everybody who supports the channel in other ways by buying my books, merch, all that other kind of cool stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.